Hi there, in this video I want to show you how you can use checklists with tasks in combination and also bullets, quotes and list titles. So before I show you a couple of examples and how I use them, let me explain you what are checklists. So you can type checklists by typing plus then space and then the name of the checklist as opposed to typing asterisk space for tasks or dash space for bullets. And if you forget how to type them, you can always hover over an empty line, click on the plus button, and then you see all the elements and also how to type them on the right side. So let's move on. Uh, what are checklists in comparison to tasks? They don't count towards your open tasks. No plan shows open tasks in different locations. So for example, at the top right on the Mac app or at the top in the iOS app, you see the calendar and some days have a red background. Those are days which have still open tasks and are in the past. So they, are, they have overdue tasks. So you can open those days and review those, open, those overdue tasks and keep track of them. Also, you can see your overdue tasks in... Uh, filters for example not only overdue but also you can configure the filters to show any kind of tasks for example also upcoming tasks and so on and checklists won't appear in those lists and the filters and checklists won't appear in the calendar days here at the top they won't color the days in red and they also don't show if you add a checklist to a day they also don't show this uh, orange circle here which symbolizes a task so also on iOS, there is a icon or there's a task badge beside the uh, month name and checklist won't increase the badge counter. There are a couple of use cases. So I personally use them a lot for time blocking. So let me show you today's note, for example. At the top, I always write uh, today's plan as a heading and then below I write out my thoughts what of what needs to be done today what is the most important thing and then i plan my day usually in checklists because those are not really tasks if i don't finish them they're not important anymore i don't want to keep track of my time blocks overall and uh, another very clear use case is to use them as uh, subtasks so if you have a main task like send newsletter with video you can have a couple of subtasks like checklist video check news newsletter and so on and this is one task with a couple of subtasks. So you want it to, sh to be shown as just one task. So if you use the filters, for example, or the, the calendar with the, um, to see which days still have open tasks, you don't want it to be cluttered with your subtasks or your time blocks in this case. So you use a checklist in these two cases, for example. Also, you can use them for shopping lists or a grocery list, list and so on. And then I also use it sometimes uh, for a list of tasks which are not important today, but they are like these are quick wins. I call them quick wins because they might be small tasks which I can do in between, but they are not so important. So I don't want to keep track of them right now. Uh, I could also offload them to a regular node, but uh, I like to keep them around in my daily notes. So I always see them when I plan the next day. Okay, these were a couple of examples of how you can use checklists. Let's move on to uh, bullets, quotes and list titles. So you've seen them already. I use them usually to as a title of uh, for my uh, to-do lists. Let's jump to the next example. So here I use bullets and a list title. It's just a plain text, a line of with plain text and a colon, just to give a little bit of structure to my uh, lists of tasks which I want to do this day but in this case I had a couple of ideas so I wrote ideas colon and a couple of bullet points with my ideas and also I have added a few tasks there and checklists as kind of subtasks which I cancelled in this case so this is one example let's jump to the next one here I have a heading investing I wrote down a couple of thoughts as plain text and then below it checklist so in this case, these are a couple of things I would like to do, but these are not tasks I want to keep track of or uh, keep be reminded of in the calendar. So I create a checklist in this case. And a third example. So here um, I am implementing the feature folder sync. I'm using here also list titles. So I have like something for testing. I have a couple of issues which are remaining and here I am also using bullet points 
as a as a list for what needs to be tested. So I could turn this, I could copy this later and turn this into checklists, for example. And in this case, I also use bullet points just to write down a couple of uh, things I noticed while working on this task. This has more informational content and I'm um, in indenting it also and it can contain those bullet points can at some point contain also checklist uh, tasks or checklists in this case. Um, you can also use this to further structure your lists. For example, let's take all the points together in one example. So we have like the folder sync. So this is the overall topic. Or let's say the topic is sync and the task is implement folder sync. So you can keep it short uh, by using uh, other elements like quotes for the description. Uh, share folders between users and some you can also use quotes for something like check-ins. Um, maybe you can prepend a date like June 12th. Finished fixing a couple of bugs and you can use bullet points in this case for some informational uh, content uh, like you made a discovery for example if I share a note stub it gets moved correctly so this is not a task this is also not a checklist but just something I want to be aware of later on and then come a couple of checklists like uh, change the, the color of shared folders, uh, add a button to the folder list. So this is a very simple example. Uh, of course, it can grow further, but I use all these elements, the list title to describe what are these tasks about. So this list of tasks can have multiple tasks, can have another task here below it, or you can also use some space in between so it's easier to read. It has a description, it has some kind of check-in, I use quotes for this in this case. It can have bullet points also. Um, the checklist can have bullet points with some information, some discovery, some thoughts. I hope this video was uh, helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments.